I'm Jeff Vogel for Buzz TV Network News and affiliate channel 1098 Buzz TV in Indian River County, Florida, going to 60,000 homes and businesses on the Treasure Coast. The push for the presidency. The march goes on, the weeks go by, and we are getting closer and closer and closer to the presidential election in November. President Donald Trump had a semi-combative interview with Chris Wallace from another network over the course of this past weekend. During that interview, um, the president and Chris Wallace debated uh, how difficult it is to identify a picture of an elephant in a cognitive test that uh, the president had uh, has taken and and passed with flying colors and according to Chris Wallace he also can identify an elephant and the president said he may or may not accept the results of the election this November that may depend on whether or not he wins. I, I, I think if he wins, he'll probably accept the results of the election. And if he doesn't and doesn't accept the results, I'm not exactly sure what that means other than him maybe locking the front door and not letting anyone in. It, it doesn't really um, make much sense. And uh, the president also confused uh, mask wearing again. Uh, masks are good, masks are bad. They told me not to wear them, they told me to wear them. Um, I like them, I don't like them. They're good for you, they're bad for you. It was just kind of a muddled message um, that basically didn't move the conversation forward in any way. And all of this taking place while Joe Biden is staying home in his basement, you know that, that Joe Biden and his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, are just sitting down there in the basement with their feet up on the sofa with a big bowl of popcorn just watching all this happen. And Democratic nominee for president, Joe Biden, is doing pretty good in that, that basement, uh, that basement hunkered down position that he's in. He is doing fantastic in the polls right now. Perhaps the president should take some advice and head down to the White House basement. All of this kind of reminds me of the movie Baby for President, which was produced by the Mashed Potato Players in association with Buzz TV Network this past year. And it's premiering this month. It's all about a five-year-old running for president. And sometimes you have to agree that the, the, the childness, childishness that sometimes takes place in presidential politics is very much equivalent to oftentimes the behavior of a five-year-old. So Baby for President is a fun movie that um, is not offensive to anyone. It doesn't really take a Republican or a Democratic side. It does point out um, how manipulative and fake news can be sometimes. And it does poke fun at President Trump in some ways. But the movie itself is probably a good distraction right now from uh, the real politics that's going on. It's a good family movie, so check it out as you are enjoying this political season that's uh, heading towards the finale in November. You might sit back, uh, enjoy a bowl of popcorn, and uh, take a look at Baby for President. More movie making when we come back. Borders, the movie. Don't go away.